Right now it looks pretty good. Go. Go, Hunter. Okay, still still Looking good. It looks good. Man, four going yeah, down. Yeah, I'm going to ag. That comes the shadow. Okay, down at three. 50 feet. Down at four. Give me one click up. Be backing up slightly. Okay, two down. Stand by for contact. I'm going to let her down. You level off. Let her on down. Okay, 76%. Plenty fat. Contact. Stop. The original plan had called for Young and Duke to get out and explore shortly after landing. However, the near abort had lasted six hours. The tired astronauts would sleep. April 21. Mission Commander John Young stepped onto the Descartes Formation, 11.58 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. While their activities were monitored by mission control, Young and Duke were also observed by scientists located across the hall in the science support room. After unloading the rover from its storage bay in the lunar module, they planted the flag. Hey, John, this is perfect with the limb and the rover and you and, and uh, Stone Mountain and the old flag. Come on out here and give me a salute. Big Navy salute. Off the ground, on the floor. There we go. Best. Young set up an ultraviolet camera to provide the first astronomical observations from the moon. He took pictures of the Earth's upper atmosphere and magnetosphere and their interaction with the solar wind. He also photographed the interstellar gas present throughout space and the ultraviolet halos that appear around galaxies. Astronomers have long wanted a telescope on the moon. Perhaps this experiment would show the moon an ideal base for future astronomical observations. You, you want two pans? Yeah, we would like two pans. John, sir. I'm not leaning on it. Duke drilled a hole into which a heat flow probe was to be placed, part of one of the experiments attached to the station. As Duke drilled, Young set up the central station and the remainder of the experiments. Then, what many considered the biggest disappointment of the mission. Probably some, just some rocks down there in the regolith, Tony. You know, it looks, I bet it's just like the side of that, that fresh uh, crater we saw back near the limb. Charlie, what? Something happened here. What happened? I don't know. Here's a line that pulled loose. That means you've got to uh, you've got to mate all those wires, separate wires in there, and have them insulated from one another. That's right. And uh, if that doesn't occur, what are the chances of shorting out the central station? Well, that's another one that they're working. Uh, On Earth, they tried to figure a way to fix the heat flow. On the moon, the astronauts continued with the other experiments. Young placed a series of sensors in the soil then fired explosive charges, mapping the lunar subsurface much as geologists on Earth use explosives to search for oil. They continue to sample the area and activate the experiments. Then they returned to the rover and prepared for their first trip away from the landing site in search for geological samples. And here we go. Their first traverse would take them about one kilometer west of the landing site. They would make two stops, 
to collect samples and conduct experiments. But it couldn't pick a better spot. John, you're just beautiful. That is the most beautiful sight. What's that? You're standing there on the rim of that crater. This guy don't really know. Gonna have to use a hand. Young used a portable instrument to measure the local magnetic field. He would later record the most intense magnetic field ever found on the moon, far higher than scientists ever suspected. It's really some crater. As you come around there, there's a rock in the near field on this rim that has some white on the top of it. We'd like you to pick it up as a grab sample. This one right here? That's it. This one right here? That's it. You got it right there. Okay, we copy that. There would be one more stop before they got back to the lunar module to close out this EVA. With Duke acting as photographer and Young as driver, they put the rover through a full test. Man, you are really bouncing. Is he on the ground at all? That's 10 kilometers. Huh? He's got about two wheels on the ground. Okay, turn sharp. <laughs> I have no desire to turn sharp. <laughs> okay, here's a sharpie. Hey, that's great. He's a big rooster tail out of all four wheels. And as he turns, he skids. The back end breaks loose just like on snow. Come on back, John. Hey, the deck is running. Then I'll tell you, Andy's never seen a driver like this. Okay, when he hits the craters and starts bouncing, it's when he gets his rooster tail. He makes sharp turns. Then it was back to their lunar base, activate experiments, and close out EVA-1. Wise exercise, is that right? Physical fitness, gym level. Hey, that's right. Please don't take pictures of the uh, hot dogs. <laughs> Showing the low residue, high protein diet. On Earth, the scientists took a break. Tomorrow would be another busy day. April 22nd. The lunar surface temperature in the sun should be around 135 degrees today. Today, they were headed a little over four kilometers south to climb their rover up the side of Stone Mountain. Man, we are really going up a hill, I'll tell you. Their first station, a crater 700 feet above their lunar module. Wow, what a place. What a view, isn't it, John? It's absolutely unreal. We really come up here, uh, Tony. It's just spectacular. I've got... I have never seen it. All I can say is spectacular, and I know y'all are sick of that word, but that, my vocabulary is so limited. Let's see what we can do. If we got the great soil, if we got certainly something, we could go to one man sampling and maybe do it. They would make a total of six stops on this traverse, collecting samples from large rocks down through the intermediates to the smallest soil particles. They would operate experiments measuring the strength of local magnetic fields to measuring the resistance of the soil to compaction. The sampling time used up. It was time to return to the rover and head back to the lunar module. And they did it in two minutes less travel time right than they were pre-planned. Fantastic. Tony, how about an extension, you guys? We feeling good. Is that all we going to do tonight was sit around and talk? But with